Empire, episode three. Okay, so the Empire episode opens with a video shot, okay? So you see the, the young girl, and people call these video girls these nasty names. And it's not just women who are manipulated through music or by having sex. It could be a guy too. I don't know why they, you know, if you ever watch um, How to Get Away with Murder, <laughs> they show a lot of the young guys using their homosexuality to gain favor with people. And these music guys were doing that too. But for whatever reason, they have the girl, she was uh, having sex last week. So now she's the star of the video. <laughs> All right, so there's another girl in there that really can sing. And of course, her manager is very upset. So he goes over to um, Lucius and he confronts Lucius about the way his client is being treated. And he threatens Lucius, he really does. And Lucius says, well, come on, we'll talk about it right now. <laughs> so Lucius takes him to the trailer, this private trailer of his, right? But before Lucius closes the door, as this gentleman enters the trailer with Lucius, Lucius grabs what appears to be a golf club. <laughs> and then the trailer door closes and you hear like, what the, you know, like that. And two guards are standing on either side of the door so nobody can get in. And so you, you figure the guy's getting a beat down. Lucius is giving him a beat down. But Lucius comes out very, I expected him to be all sweated up and everything. I guess he has, uh, you know, one of these even tempered, uh, very deceitful type, body uh, chemistries, because usually if you beat up somebody, you know, you're all sweaty, your eyes are red, you know, you look, you, it's not that great looking when you come out. But Lucius has beat this boy down, <laughs> beat this man down, I should say, and didn't break a sweat. So we don't know if it's the, uh, what's the Silence of the Lambs guy? Uh, remember he could kill people and not break a sweat and stuff, all right. But, all right, so Lucius's lady, hires a private detective to spy on Cookie. The private detective then tells Lucius that um, Cookie is talking to the feds. So Lucius is afraid he's con he, con he confronts Cookie with this information. She says, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, she's denying the whole thing. And then uh, Cookie thinks it's her sister. She doesn't even realize what has happened. She thinks it's her sister that might've spied on her. So at Bunky's funeral, she confronts her sister. So she says, no, I didn't do it, which, you know, of course she did. not So Bunky's funeral includes Gladys Knight singing, right? Beautiful. Sounded beautiful and she looked beautiful. Okay. Then you have Lucius doing a eulogy. You got the killer eulogizing the victim. All right. So that's where that went. Then the police come to see Lucius. Um, the police let him know that they might have a suspect. Lucius needs to know what's going on. He tells Andre to go to his connection over at the, uh, the, the, the deputy mayor's office or wherever it is to find out. And of course, Andre has a little sex, you know, uh, with the girl. I guess they have this thing that goes on. I'll give you information. You give me sex or whatever. Okay. Inside information, information he's not really privy to, right? So he takes care of getting that. And we have to say that the police say that there's a bum. Well, he's not a bum. I shouldn't call him a bum. There's a homeless man who drinks a lot. <laughs> Is that the bum? All right. So he's outside the building and saw the whole murder incident. So he's telling the police, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, it was lying. It was lying. All right. All right. So the police show him a picture of, of Lucius on their cell phone. And then the, the, uh, the homeless guy says, yes, that was him or whatever. So we don't know how much weight that's going to hold because, right, he drinks and everything, so we don't know. Cookie does something very smart, which is that she introduces Agent Carter to Lucius. This is my parole officer, and so now he kind of knows, you know, who it is and he won't be giving her a hard time when he sees this woman with Cookie, which is great, right? But um, Lucius is still, you know, he's smart. He's not stupid. He's still, you can tell in the back of his mind, he's still thinking about this whole thing. But then in the meantime, he decides to have this dinner at his house. He has a dinner and you know, his first, his, his lady, his new lady doesn't like Cookie. Of course, she's threatened by Cookie. Cookie is still this gorgeous thing. Forget that she's been in jail and all this stuff. She still has a lot of sex appeal. And you can tell when, you can tell when um, Lucius and Cookie are together, you can tell that there's still something there. The flame is still burning. 
So you can tell that this woman is somewhat threatened by Cookie's presence. So she doesn't want Cookie there, but Cookie shows up at the dinner. Lucia's invited her. It's fine. He gives her this great seat and makes his new lady sit next to him somewhere else, which is a little slap in the face. I don't know if I would go that far, but anyway, that's what he did. All right. So, um, of course they clash during dinner and prayer and the whole thing. And then Cookie asks Jamel to sing his song. And this is a song that she got from one of her old flames. This guy who used to like her, used to write songs years and years ago. Who Lucius knows, and Lucius also is very familiar with the song, with the piece, you know. Because remember, remember, Lucius was this uh, musician years ago, so he knows, he remembers this song coming through his piano, his keyboard, and um, he's not happy that she went back there, you know. <laughs> so Jamal sings this song beautifully after dinner at Lucius's house, all right. Everyone loves it, but the father saying, yeah, we'll give it to John Legend. <laughs> So, of course, Jamal is just furious, you know, okay? So, Jamal storms out the house, and in another scene, Hakeem's uh, intimate with Naomi Campbell's character, right? This older woman, and she's saying, call me mama. <laughs> All right, anyway. So, uh, Lucius comes over to Jamal's house, and, uh, you know, this is a house that Lucius pays for, but Jamal has had it. He's like, you know what? Take your house. Take everything. He's the keys. I'm out. You know, so he goes and he leaves with his lover. They move out, you know, and uh, they're going to get in the cab and go somewhere. I don't know where they're going to live, but we'll see. OK, so we're going to see what happens next week. You know, we'll see where what happens next week. All right. So you got to watch Empire on Fox until we meet again. It's Renee Stanley for Movie Review Relay. God bless.